People in a small Bear County town are worried because all of the full time police officers in Gray Forest resigned and people are worried about how the town leader is handling that. But as the night team's Patty Santos learned, the town of 500 people has low crime numbers. A safety is a selling point for the rural town of Gray Forest, just north of Pelotas. We actually chose Gray Forest uh, because it was such a nice, safe, um, small town. But in recent weeks, it's four and a half paid police officers have resigned. We've talked to Bear County. They're helping cover, especially until all of this just settles down. Mayor Amanda Waldrop says she has hired some interim staff along with over 40 reserved officers. But she says the chief left due to philosophical differences in leadership. The deputy chief was named interim, but he accepted a new job. We have the interim police administrator who's trying to get some that make sure that the scheduling is all in place because we want for everybody to feel safe and comfortable. Residents worry the lack of full time officers will translate to a rising crime. There's probably someone out there that is thinking maybe now Gray Forest is a target, and I'm worried about that. The mayor was newly elected in the spring. Residents say her approach to tightening the budget is part of the philosophical differences that led to the departures. Once Mandy became mayor, they, they had practically council meetings every week to try to get the uh, budget you know, back in a uh, reasonable position. Other folks who support the mayor say they don't support how she's handled this situation, but they do want to know how much money is going in and out of this police department. Everyone does agree Gray Forest needs a police force. I would love for there to be dedicated officers in the city of Gray Forest who are here, who get to know the community as these previous officers did. Patty Santos, KSET 12 News.